Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the complete walkthrough video experience for the all new Winnebago Solus Pocket 36B available here at Litson RV. America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries, we're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory based right here in Forest City, Iowa and named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consistently since 2015. Also last year, we were named the number two camper van dealer across all of North America, including all of Winnebago's competitors. So across the entire RV industry, as the number two camper van dealer last year here at Litson RV. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ram ProMaster investment in accordance with the way Ram ProMaster outlines on page 72 of its owner's manual, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing during the first thousand miles, driving moderately during the first 300 miles, and after the initial 60 miles, driving at speeds up to 50 or 55 miles per hour are desirable. While cruising, brief full throttle acceleration within the limits of local traffic laws contributing to a good break-in procedure. As opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in your new ProMaster investment, eat that first meal in your multi-use dinette area, and sleep that first night in your factory fresh solace pocket here at Litson RV. Now with a full featured bath, 5,000 watt hours of flexible, expandable lithium technology and the latest restyled and re-engineered Ram ProMaster chassis, the all season Winnebago Solus Pocket 36B is not only the most affordable camper van, but it also features extended season capability and a layout that is inspired by van life custom layouts and DIYers who might otherwise attempt to build out their own van. This camper is the turnkey solution to start and join van life right away. Unveiling a new partnership with EcoFlow Power Systems, the Pocket 36B includes a compact and flexible power station that is an all-in-one power hub that eliminates the need for five different power management components to optimize energy, performance, save space, reduce weight, and significantly simplify guest operation. Located under the forward-facing rear bench dinette area, it features 5,120 watt-hours of 48-volt lithium-ion battery technology to power all of the pocket's electrical needs, including the Coleman Mach air conditioning system. Featuring a Ram ProMaster chassis with a high roof and 136-inch wheelbase, the pocket comes in at just 17 feet 10 inches long, more compact than a full-size SUV or half-ton truck. It is easy to maneuver and park due to its compact size, yet it has significant ground clearance. Its compact design navigates urban areas, but also stays true to the Solus's surf-to-slope design. The Solus Pocket features a versatile living area that is customizable in seven different positions, whether you're looking to work from the road or for a comfortable place to lounge after a day of adventuring. The dinette with a capacity for four people transitions into a full 53 by 75 inch bed or an array of different sofa lounging positions. The Pocket also earned the Truma Gold Standard unachieved by competitors. Truma, a leading supplier in the RV heating and cooling category, independently tested the pocket and rated it with their gold standard for cold weather operation. Winnebago's new partnership with EcoFlow Power Systems includes a compact and flexible feature that is an all-in-one power hub that eliminates the need for five different power management components to optimize energy performance, save space, reduce weight, and significantly simplify user operation. Located inside the van, along with all of the water lines enclosed inside the Solus Pocket, 
It includes a 5,120 watt hour 48 volt lithium ion battery system to power all of the pocket's electrical needs, including the air conditioning system. It's then expandable up to 15,000 watt hours. The 48 volt lithium ion batteries provide a safe, light and energy efficient power solution, giving users the ability to operate the air conditioner under full duty cycle. So literally the coldest temperature available for up to five hours off of the single 5,000 watt hour battery. Again, that is expandable to 15,000 watt hours. But also keep in mind with the all weather insulation inside within the Solus Pocket, that five hours will significantly stretch overnight and into the next day based on the fact that you're simply cooling a more compact footprint. The pure sine wave inverter converts battery DC power to 110 volt electricity for use with all of the appliances in the coach featuring a 3600 watt output with a maximum surge capacity up to 7200 watts. The shore power converter then converts 110 volt electricity to 48 volt DC to charge the lithium battery system. The battery energy converter converts the 48 volt DC energy from the lithium system to power traditional 12 volt household appliances such as the lighting, the water pump and water heater. The solar energy converter converts energy from the solar panel to charge the lithium battery system. It features 190 watts of rooftop solar with two 45 watt panels and a 100 watt panels to charge the lithium battery system. While driving, the alternator energy optimizer boosts the energy generated by the engine to the required level to charge the lithium house battery system. It's very simple, easy to control navigation through the single control screen located right above the sliding cargo door, or you can also Bluetooth with connectivity through the smartphone or tablet. The packaging is included in a nimble lightweight power hub, which contributes to the 1,814 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity for the Pocket 36B. Again, you can recharge from driving solar or when being plugged in. It features 1,000 watts of input off of the Ram ProMaster alternator, which is a 180 amp alternator. So plenty of capacity to max out that 1,000 watts of charging capabilities. 3,000 watts of shore power input from the inverter converter, and then finally the solar rooftop with 190 watts, which again is expandable to provide even more solar charging capabilities. The Winnebago Solus Pocket 36B is powered by the tried and true fuel efficient Ram ProMaster powertrain the U.S. version of what has become Europe's most successful commercial cargo van from Fiat, the Ducato. It features the 3.6 liter Ram ProMaster front wheel drive powertrain estimated to achieve 18 to 22 miles per gallon highway. It features 260 pounds feet of torque or power, 280 horses for get up and go, and that's made it up with a nine speed automatic torque flight transmission with grade braking capabilities. Nimble in footprint with a 136 inch wheelbase, it features a 36.3 turning radius. Up front here, you can see the blackout Ram grill, which is subject to Ram ProMaster availability. High mount headlamps. Up top here, you'll find the Sirius XM satellite radio antenna. Down below, you'll find integrated fog lamps with high mount headlamps that provide better visibility during the evening, but also minimize impact from any potential body damage. We're gonna way around towards the side here. You'll find 16 inch wheels, along with a full assist step on the patio side. The ProMaster chassis also features powered folding and heated mirrors along with powered assist feature along with the convex parabolic wide angle technology. You'll see we've ordered this coach factory fresh in the ceramic gray premium full body base coat automotive finish. It's also available in this the bright white exterior premium full body base coat clear coat automotive paint. 
Or finally in this, the Deep Cherry Red High Metallic Premium Full Body Base Coat Clear Coat Automotive Finish. Nimble in length, the 36B is only 17 feet 10 inches, tip to tip. And now we'll cover each of the side components in more detail. Safety enhancements with side turn signal indicators. The top 80% of this side mirror being powered and heated. The lower 20% then, including that convex parabolic wide angle technology. Down below here, you'll find 16 inch wheels. Again, a front wheel drive powertrain, fuel efficient with 18 to 22 miles per gallon highway rating. Just behind the driver's door, you'll find the integrated locking fuel fill. Down below there, you'll find the exhaust for the Ram ProMaster powertrain. Again, a generator free experience here in the pocket with 5,000 watt hours of lithium technology. Just to the rear here, you'll find exhausting for the Truma Combi ecosystem, which provides continuous on-demand hot water as well as coach heat. A very fuel efficient appliance. We'll cover that in more detail as we get inside the pocket. Just behind here, then you'll find the 30 amp shoreline service. So while being plugged in at home, at a resort or a campground, you can rely on that 30 amps of electrical capability, which is sized to power all of the components inside the pocket simultaneously without throwing a breaker. Of course, then that also provides the input to charge the EcoFlow power system up to 3000 watts, which you'll have plenty of that with 30 amps of available shoreline service. To the rear here, emergency access and also a sneak preview to the convenient removable 20 pound LP capacity. Again, that can be used outside and also powers the dual burner range top as well as the True Makami ecosystem. We'll cover that in more detail here as we get to the rear cargo area. The coach features the upgraded 8,550 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis from Ram ProMaster, which also then includes 1,814 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity, even after the 90 pounds of EcoFlow Lithium technology. So with 1,800 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity that provides plenty of capabilities for occupants, cargo, and any fresh water that you may travel with. Down below here, you'll see the gray tank discharge for the 20 gallons of gray tank capacity to the van. The coach also features 20 gallons of total fresh water capacity. Then in addition, 2.6 inside the Truma Combi system and four gallons of fresh water for the cassette toilet that we'll cover as we get inside the full featured rear wet bath. Again, this is the ceramic gray exterior. We also stock this in the bright white exterior as well as the deep cherry red all of which are the same price. Up top there, you'll see the Coleman Mach High Efficiency 13.5 BTU air conditioning system. We'll cover that in more detail as we jump up atop the roof of the Solus Pocket 36B. Down below, you'll find a 3,500 pound factory installed tow package. The Pocket features a six foot nine inch width and a nine foot five inch overall height so if you have a 10 foot residential garage, if you can bring your headers up for the eight foot garage door, you could actually store this inside. To the rear then, the rear view camera monitoring system and digital rear view mirror cameras just below the high mount brake lamp. Easy access to the cargo area as well as the full wet bath to the rear with cargo doors that open nearly 270 degrees for full access and also access to the annex that we'll cover here in a moment. Again, down below a 3,500 pound factory installed tow package, all of which is coated in the latest in e-coating technology after undergoing a multi-million dollar voluntary effort at Winnebago Industries. They've led the rust protection category in the RV industry for over 30 years. During that e-coating process, critical steel structural components are processed through a multi-stage full immersion electro-coating system in which every part is submerged and evenly plated throughout that steel. Now we'll cover the storage areas and wet bath to the rear of the pocket. 
Again, each of these doors open nearly 270 degrees and piggyback against the van for ease of access. You can see to each side door then, rear window coverings with zippered openings providing total blackout protection, an extra layer of insulation, but it's also easy to use and maintain and does not provide any rattles. This being the new rear screen access from Winnebago Industries that zips down inside the middle to close off and provide wonderful fresh air ventilation and insect protection. And then down below, weights keep that screen in place up against the metal of the bottom of the flooring. One of the great things to the pocket is all of the all-weather insulation, including honeycomb composite insulated flooring, which is durable and easy to maintain using industrial strength material, but also serves as an additional thermal break. The new rear window coverings are also made in-house by Winnebago Industries so that they can control tolerances and fit and finish, and the materials will be available for decades to come not relying on third-party manufacturers. To the rear here, then you'll find the new annex. This extends living space to the van. It features the hanging rod as well as the curtain. We'll cover that in more detail here in a moment. To the rear of the van, you do have storage underneath the 20-pound LP cylinder. A removable Solus gear bag to the left, which also can be used for outdoor utensils for cooking. So a great little gear bag that is removable off of that molly panel. A molly panel allowing carabiner clips to store certain things for van life. And then storage down underneath. Currently where the coiled drain hose is, as well as the freshwater input for the freshwater panel system that we'll cover here in detail in a moment. Again, the pocket has earned the Truma gold standard unachieved by competitors. Truma, which is a leading supplier in RV heating and cooling category, which also provides the Truma Combi Eco, independently tested the pocket and rated it with their gold standard for cold weather operation. It takes advantage of this removable LP bottle inside the rear of the pocket, which can be easily exchanged with readily available LP found at supermarkets and home improvement stores across the country. An innovative hinge on this mount will actually glides down for easy removal and easy connection to the propane system. Here you can also now see where it is actually removed and how much storage there is even in that setup, but also how easy it is to remove and then replace that 20 pound LP bottle. Again, that can be used for exterior cooking, but is also used for the dual burner range top and the Truma system. As we work our way to the rear of the van, we'll cover the oversized 25 by 34 inch rear shower in more detail, as well as the portable cassette toilet, as well as all of the specs featuring five and a half gallons of capacity, including four gallons of fresh water and battery operated electric flush to this easily removable cassette which can be drained at septic locations within the national park systems open pits as well as then any traditional rv resort or campground and finally even a residential household toilet here you can see some of the insulation as well as the quiet tuned laser routed Truma Combi Eco duct systems to provide heat to the van. All of this being provided with a thermal break underneath the flooring area. Off to the right then, all of your water panel management systems on one easy to access location. Overhead great lighting with LED lighting throughout the van, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. You're going to find a, an array of 12 volt power points and USB A power points throughout the van here just to the rear for use with lavatory appliances. Also for the exterior of the van with 12 volt access. All of your locations 
for water management right here on one simple to access location, including the exterior shower, which does include hot and cold water. This can be used with the annex to extend living space to the van, which also then provides that hanging rod and curtain, which is a tent-like material with Velcro straps and magnetic poles attached at various points. Here you can see the quick port to expand the 190 watts of standard solar charging capabilities. Controls to the rear here then for the shower drain pump, that macerator pump that would actually drain out the 20 gallons of total gray water capacity, as well as a 12 volt on-demand water pump switch. Down below the innovative freshwater diverter valve so that when you are connected to city water, you can very simply divert that valve. And instead of having to connect to a gravity fill, you can divert the water from your resort, campground, or home to fill the 20 gallons of freshwater capacity in Winnebago's proprietary Rotocast seamless one-piece tanks. Again, since those are made in-house, Winnebago can maximize using computer-aided design, freshwater capacity, and interior storage since they don't have to go out and purchase their cabinets or purchase their tanks compared to competing manufacturers. Here inside this compartment, you'll find the 12-volt on-demand water pump, as well as the gray tank drain valve. Very simply pulling that allows the gray tank then to discharge out of the driver's side rear that we saw earlier. It also provides a capability to connect an innovative aftermarket accessory such as an Americanizer to be able to drain that cassette directly through your waste hose. And then you can see snaps that provide covered access to this. A nice one-piece pan for easy maintenance and easy cleaning for the shower. This is a Thetford Porta Potty 565E, which is a cassette-style toilet that features a battery-powered electric flush, featuring sleek, modern, and home-like design, comfortable in height with a large bowl. It includes a user-friendly flush lever, a tank level indicator for fresh water and for the waste tanks, as well as an integrated tissue holder. It can be drained like a cassette featuring five and a half gallons of total wastewater and four gallons of fresh water. An average flush capacity of 56 and also provides great level indicators for knowing when to drain your cassette. Then towards the patio side, you'll find another integrated rear window coverings providing complete blackout protection, but also an extra layer of insulation zipper provides for easy opening and closing, but also easy cleaning. There you can see the other side of the annex. Each of these doors then go in line to the van and then that annex actually encloses those two doors and the tent-like awning then can be used for additional thermal break, or it can be used to extend the space to the van for the outside shower. And now, unlike any dealership here in North America, we're gonna elevate up to show you all of the quality components atop the Solus Pocket 36B. Again, the coach is 17 feet 10 inches in length, six feet nine inches in width, and nine feet five inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the van. Inside, it features a six foot three inch interior ceiling height. To the rear of the van, then you'll find the access for the 12 volt powered ventilator fan inside the oversized bath in one. Off to the left on the driver's side, then you'll see the innovative quick port opening to install any type of connectivity devices, such as a Starlink, a WeBoost, or a WineGuard Connect 2.0. Be sure to check out several of our Litson RV Live archived live video webcast in which we take you through different connectivity options to stay connected on the road, whether that be cellular boosting or dedicated internet inside the van. Also be sure to check out on our parts page on Litson.com an interactive multimedia connectivity finder tool which will pair up what your needs are and what aftermarket connectivity device you need. Forward of that, you'll find the first of three solar panels, this one being 100 watts, 
forward of that is the Coleman Mach 13,500 BTU high efficiency air conditioning system. Again, will run off of the 5,000 watt hours of flexible lithium ion technology. Flanking each side of that max air vent system then are 45 watt panels for the solar array. Again, 190 total and it is expandable somewhat rooftop but most likely down using the quick port for portable solar panels the max air premium vent system provides whisper quiet operation with high cfm or high air movement velocity providing a tremendous amount of fresh air ventilation in inside the pocket we'll cover that as we get inside the van whether it be the connectivity enhancements that we may actually install for you, if that's something that you need, be sure to take advantage of the half-day educational orientation that we offer here at Litson RV, which is completely at no cost to you, in which our factory-trained RVTI Master Certified Technicians will walk you through the van in a scripted fashion to ensure that we don't miss anything important to you. We'll cover every switch, we'll cover every feature, we'll show you what to do, what not to do, and we'll cover maintenance and warranty. We then invite you to stay with us for a few nights to practice camp in a safe cocoon here in which we can wake up the next morning and cover any additional questions, demo drive the vehicle with you and make sure that you're 100% knowledgeable before going out into the wild with van life. And now as we work our way down towards patio level on the passenger side, we'll cover all of the passenger side components to the van. You can see two sliding windows, one inside the cargo door, the one inside the kitchen or galley area. That little cup that sticks out from the sidewall is a vent for the freshwater tank. Again, Tetris in size bank up because we can maximize freshwater capacity. Down below, you'll see a Winnebago proprietary constructed, easy to access and easy to use non-skid assist step with tie outs to the front and to the aft or to the rear for securing pets or for securing high-end bicycles. Of course, this is also e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology as opposed to powder coating or just very simply painting bare metal like competing manufacturers. You can see the bound by the W non-skid easy access to the step. Again, the coach does feature keyless entry with push button start with the wireless key fob. And then right inside this sliding cargo to area, some innovative features that Winnebago has used for a few years, including the popular outside table, which is included then on a metal strap in which you can actually adjust down or up depending upon how level or unlevel you are parking. The new side screen then also includes roll up, snap in, insect protection, but also when down this easy to access magnetic strap that will then allow you to enter or exit the van to keep bugs out, but still allow all of that fresh air ventilation. A wonderful feature that people rave about is the forward facing compressor driven refrigerator and freezer so that not only can you load groceries, you can access that from the patio side. Again, this patio table stays affixed in transit with the two clips up top. And then as it actually pivots down, you can adjust any of the D-rings to adjust the level nature of that table. So if the van's not perfectly level, your table still can be. A nice sneak preview there then to the weathered teak cabinetry which is paired up with the nomad ultra fabrics collection from winnebago industries and then continuing on with the industrial strength honeycomb flooring which also serves as an additional thermal break to the van a courtesy led exterior light is included right near your cargo area for easy access to return to the van and now as we work our way inside the Solus Pocket 36B, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover each of the main living areas in more detail. We've ordered this coach factory fresh, the only interior available. This is the Nomad Ultra Fabrics collection paired up with weathered teak cabinetry. 
manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries in their hardwoods division so that not only can they maximize interior storage space, but minimize tolerances in fit and finish, which long-term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing manufacturer that still purchases their cabinets from third-party suppliers down the road in Elkhart, Indiana, or wherever they're based. But again, being built in-house allows parts to be available long-term, but also minimizing squeaks and rattles because there are minimization intolerances of fit and finish. A full featured kitchen or galley with a large compressor driven refrigerator and freezer, a dual burner range top with an innovative glass cooktop cover, a large stainless steel drop in sink with a single control kitchen faucet, beautiful weather teak and cabinetry inside, a full featured bath to the rear featuring a 25 by 34 inch shower. Forward of this then, dual three point forward facing safety belts in this multi-use dinette area that will cover each of the seven positions as we get a little bit deeper into the orientation. Up top then, a metal installed shelf from Winnebago Industries and then up front, each of the cab seats rotate to become integral lounge chairs to the van. So a total safety belt capacity of four and a total sleeping capacity of three, including the Luno cab bed. And now Abby Neiman, one of our factory trained consultants here at Litson RV will demonstrate all seven positions of this multi-use dinette, sofa and lounging area. The first was two person dinette that you saw there earlier. So again, that can be used just as a two person dinette. You can extend the rear forward facing area as well as use the ottoman area to now convert into a four person dinette. So the first being a two person dinette, the second being a four person dinette. We'll now bring the forward facing rear cushions back together with the slide out platform that you can see there using a Euro slat suspension, which provides great fresh air ventilation and minimizes mild and moldy buildup compared to competing manufacturers that are still placing vinyl backed cushions over plywood. The second position here that we'll demonstrate now is an L shaped sectional sofa that can be used. That table can also be dropped down to form a complete sofa, which we'll showcase here in a moment. Over 53 inches of leg space there from the rear towards the patio side. We'll drop this back down now and include this into sofa mode. So just a traditional sofa without the L-shaped sectional components. One of the great things of this is the pedestal table, which is manufactured by Winnebago Industries. Again, providing tolerances for fit and finish, but ease of use. There is a safety lever that you actually just release and then this glides down. You don't have to break it away from a wall like competing manufacturers. This drops down then to provide the sofa mode, which is the fourth of seven different positions. So it can be used as just a traditional sofa. This also then provides the capability for a 30 by 75 inch twin bed. So 75 inches in terms of depth, 30 inches in width, but we can also now convert this into a full bed at 53 by 75 inches. So 53 inches being just seven inches shy of the width of a traditional queen bed and 75 inches in length, a traditional RV queen, but just five inches shy of a traditional 80 inch queen bed. Very simple to set up. The ottoman very simply flips up to provide the forward portion of that 53 by 75 inch full bed. You can still access the bathroom throughout the night. You can still access the refrigerator during the night. So now you have a 53 by 75 inch full bed.
Also keep in mind that a factory installed option, which we do have in stock, is the front cab air mattress from Luno Life, which features a 30 by 65 inch front cab bed with a support base, a cordless pump, a repair kit, and an innovative storage bag. So that can increase the sleeping capacity to three people inside the van, two in the rear full bed, and then one with the 30 by 65 inch front cab air mattress from Luno Life. And now as we set this back up towards sofa mode or twin bed mode, we're gonna wrap up the multi-use sectional area to demonstrate how this can be used in travel mode. In travel mode meaning while the vehicle is in transit with a forward facing three point safety belt on the driver's side and also a three point safety belt on the passenger side. With the dinette table that can be used for one passenger or it could actually be used for both. Again, this very simply glides out with that Euro slat suspension, so a very comfortable dinette. We'll slide this over and then provide the base cushion for the second seat area. That glides over. You can use the entire walkway if you use this as a single person in travel mode. If you put two people back here, obviously it blocks access to the bath, but could still be used at rest stops or breaks alongside travels by using the rear cargo door area. So each of these provide the middle support for the three-point safety belt. Again, these are safe and pull tested by Winnebago Industries. So the first being a single person forward facing three point safety belt. And then the second actually pulls out to provide the second person's three point safety belt. And the beauty of this is once these are converted, you can actually flip that table again to provide a wonderful dinette or gaming experience or a workstation in transit with the two three point safety belts facing forward. So you can see the first being anchored in here alongside the driver's side. And then sliding over, you can use the second three-point safety belt to secure the second occupant. And again, with that table being hinged, it very simply glides over using the support base from the kitchen or galley area to provide an oversized workstation, gaming area, or dinette area in transit. Now as we return to the main walkthrough area, we'll actually cover all of these different living components in more detail. A full featured kitchen or galley off towards the driver's side then, a full bank of overhead storage cabinets with two windows out towards the driver's side, both of which are side hung, sliding windows with insect screen protection built in. Wonderful LED lighting throughout the van. Up top aluminum extruded cabinets which are mounted in steel to the van. Up top here is the Max Air Premium vent system which is thermostatically controlled that you can see with the default switch in the upper left hand corner there. But high CFM or high air movement with all of the fresh air ventilation from that side hung window or the insect screen protection from the sliding cargo door. This is the Ericsell Coleman Mach 13,500 BTU high efficiency air conditioning system. Again, this will power off of the shoreline power or off of the inverter converter from the EcoFlow 5,000 watt hours of lithium technology. Very simple to use, very intuitive to use. We'll showcase the EcoFlow panel here in a moment. Positive lock latching is also included for each of these cabinet doors so that things won't jump out in transit. But as we open each of these, you'll see there is a metal hinge on the side to keep these open for ease of accessing and storing items inside the cabinets of the Solus Pocket. And you can see support structure for heavier items inside each of these cabinets. Here you can see the stay open door hinge that allows those doors to stay open for ease of storing things inside the cabinets. You can see the Winnebago homeowner's bag off to the right there. Each of these being partitioned as well so that you don't have things sliding front to back. Here is where we currently have the Luno Cab Air Mattress stored. 
that can also be stored overhead inside the metal shelf that Winnebago installs just over the cockpit to the van. But great storage in a nimble footprint. Again, only 17 feet, 10 inches in length for the van. But great storage capacity here alongside the driver's side. We'll also cover the patio side here in a moment. Each of these side windows then are sliding window with insect screens that provide great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with the sliding cargo door being open with these zippered coverings. You can see currently this is now set up as a two-person dinette mode. Underneath this dinette then you'll also find an electrical outlet which is hot off of the lithium technology. You can expand this even temporarily with two people for an oversized workstation area, dining area, or oversized gaming table with a total capacity of four people. But for workstation needs, for work, for gaming, down below you'll have a 110 volt outlet to power electrical appliances directly off of the EcoFlow system, as well as a 12 volt power point and USB-A power point. A flip up ottoman that you saw previously provides a great L-shaped lounging experience. Underneath the 110 volt outlet and USB power point, then you'll find your breaker panel for your 110 volt and 12 volt blade style fuse breaker box and then fresh air access to the rear. That will allow the EcoFlow system to stay nice and cool. A good rule of thumb is that if you're comfortable inside the van, so are your batteries. If you do decide to store the EcoFlow system while being plugged in, it does have an internal battery management system or BMS, which does include heating controls to heat those batteries in cold weather storage. Otherwise, you can very simply turn them off when they're fully charged and allow them to sit in storage. A great zoomed in shot there of that industrial strength honeycomb style flooring, which does also provide non-skid, non-slip, but also a wonderful thermal break. There you can see the fresh air access as well as mechanical access to the EcoFlow system. Off to the right, several of the laser tuned quiet air delivery ducts for the Truma Combi ecosystem providing coach heat as well as continuous on-demand hot water. Very energy efficient, 97% energy efficient, using just a nominal amount of LP off of the 20 pound LP capacity. A great storage area, especially even for headboard access area with a netted area that includes a 12 volt power point and USB-A outlet for convenient use for charging your smartphone, tablet, right at the head of your sleeping area. Also a convenient 110 volt outlet You'd like to use the inverter off of the EcoFlow system for a traditional electrical charging outlet. Zoomed in shot there of the three point safety belt. Again, two forward facing safety belt locations in addition to the cab area. And now towards the patio side, we'll cover the kitchen and galley area. Of course, wonderful storage overhead the kitchen and cabinet area that we'll cover. A full featured kitchen or galley area, as it does include the dual burner range top, refrigerator and freezer and complete sink access. Two large cabinets are included overhead the kitchen or galley area, again partitioned so that things aren't sliding around in transit, but also with the middle supports for heavier items. Continuing on with the LED lighting, again, 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. Another patio facing side hung window with great fresh air ventilation and insect sp screen protection. In addition to the zippered window coverings, easy to care for laminate countertops lightweight in nature, again, to free up that 1,800 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. A large drop-in style stainless steel sink with a single control high-rise kitchen faucet. A 
Again, total 20 gallons of fresh water capacity, an additional 2.6 in the Truma system, and four capacity for the cassette toilet area. A dual burner range top with an innovative glass cooktop cover to maximize what is already a tremendous amount of inline kitchen countertop space. Easy to clean stainless steel base. Again, this functions off of the 20 pound LP capacity. Easily swappable at any supermarket or home improvement store. Fuel stations throughout the country. Switched wall outlets as well as a 110 volt outlet and 12 volt power point and USB power point right near your patio area. Working away from the left to the right, you'll see two power points for 12 volt appliances, 110 volt outlet. The top being USB-A and the bottom then being a traditional 12 volt power point that you could use with any 12 volt power point. Lighting control switches, including the exterior courtesy light. This being the Novacool compressor driven 3.1 cubic feet, compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. Since it is a compressor driven refrigerator and freezer, it can be used at higher altitudes. It can be used in transit and can be used when the van is not perfectly level compared to absorption style refrigerators and freezers. When at temp, it uses approximately the same amount of wattage as a traditional 100 watt light bulb. It does include the travel clasp for maintaining that closure. There you can see the slat that was used to turn the two person dinette into a four person dinette. Additional vent access with all of the water lines being enclosed inside the van to extend all season RVing. Down below, a full drawer stack, and with all of the drawer stacks at Winnebago Industries, they do include full-length drawer extensions with metal drawer glides and positive lock latching. You can also see a nice sneak preview there to Winnebago's wiring looms. And what separates Winnebago from competing models is creating all of the wire looms in-house with state-of-the-art facilities. Providing secure and reliable 12-volt connections, the wires are clearly labeled every three inches for easy identification crimped and spliced using an advanced solderless welding process and heat shrunk to virtually eliminate any failure. You'll also see all of the plumbing lines are residential style PEX plumbing with quick disconnect and compression connectors at key location, ensuring sturdy leak proof connection. A single water manifold system reduces the potential of any leak up to 75%, but also increases PSI or water pressure. Here you'll see an innovative fresh tank light, a sight glass, which is illuminated over the fresh water tank. So you can actually see how much fresh water is available at a glance. You'll see additional 12 volt power points, USB-A power points and electrical outlets. an innovative eco hot system here. If you'd like to draw hot water to either the shower or the sink area, you can very simply throw this valve to preheat to conserve water when RVing off the grid. So you're not gonna waste water by bringing fresh water to warm it up to that faucet, whether that be in the kitchen or to the rear bath area, and then bring it back to normal operation. All of that water being used to bring up the temp is then purged back into the 20 gallon fresh water capacity to the van. Inside the bath then you'll see a sliding partition for privacy to the rear bath. It includes the shower with wall surround and then also a shower curtain inside to keep things dry. Inside the oversized bath in one or wet bath, you'll see the cassette toilet that we covered. Again, that's the Thetford 565E with 5.5 gallons of total black tank capacity. On average, 56 flushes using four gallons of fresh water. It can be drained literally at any resort, campground, any type of national park, park system septic access, or even a residential toilet. A 12 volt powered vent is included to the rear of the van as well as upgraded vinyl padded ceiling along with 
LED lighting. You can see the location there for the shower head, which is used outside the van, but then also inside the oversized wet bath. Also inside the bath is that wardrobe cabinet, but also the molly panel with the galley storage pack. And then also the medicine cabinet with mirror that you can see off to the left. So that's facing the patio area as you're using lavatory inside the bath. You can see the track that surrounds for the shower curtain. Convenient storage is included with the mirrored medicine cabinet as well as the anything keeper style basket, which is included above the lavatory sink. Here you can see a large mirrored medicine cabinet with split shelving. And then down below a stainless steel sink, again with a single control lavatory faucet. A convenient 110 volt outlet off to the right for bath and lavatory appliances. Again, that is hot off of the EcoFlow system, so it can be used with a hair dryer, electric razor, any type of lavatory or bath appliance that you may use. Again, a generator less experience with 5,000 standard watt hours of lithium technology. Underneath this sink area is where the freshwater systems panel was that you saw earlier. An easy to access entry handle or assist handle for using the toilet or for using the shower area. Again, this entire area stays dry with the shower curtain, but there is storage in four different locations off to the left of this wardrobe cabinet. Again, with positive lock latching, featuring adjustable shelving, and also a location to use curtain storage for your clothing. It's also the location for the connectivity quick port up on the roof that we covered. This is where we would wire in any connectivity device for you. It provides electrical as well as 12 volt power. For any type of connectivity enhancement, whether that be Starlink, satellite internet, a WeBoost, or WineGuard Connect 2.0, depending upon what your connectivity needs are, But again, adjustable shelving up and down inside this wardrobe cabinet, right around the corner from your dinette or multi-use sleeping surface. Foldable clothing storage here off to the left is included as well. All of this area stays dry with a shower curtain on that track system. A one-piece pan and a one-piece surround for easy maintenance and easy cleaning inside the bath area. And then additional netted storage here, temporarily housing your drainage hose as well as the freshwater hose for the single control freshwater panel to the rear. You can see controls there for the sliding privacy panel. And again, using computer-aided design, Winnebago will provide storage anywhere possible, finding a nice cutout here for additional storage. All compared to competing models that don't offer the same amount of interior storage because they have to be using cabinets from other suppliers. One of the nice things about that cassette toilet is just the portability to it. It also features an integrated dry dock tissue holder, hidden controls to the rear of the toilet area. So a sleek design when not being used. It provides a battery powered electric flush, on average 56 flushes, a comfortable seat height with a large bowl, a user-friendly flush lever, and then also the tank level indicator for not only your fresh water, but also the level of your waste tank. Again, that can be discharged through the sewer hose that's used when you drain your gray tank. You'd want to gray, drain your gray tank afterwards to clean out that shower hose. It can be used at resorts, campgrounds, national park system pits, or even a residential toilet. Now, as we work our way forward to the van, you'll see the Max Air Premium vent system up front. 
You'll also see all of the different detectors that are included, including the carbon monoxide, fire alarm, or smoke alarm, and then finally down below the LP detector. Easy navigation to the coach with all of your access locations in one easy to access spot here right above the cargo door. Working our way from right to left, you'll find the Truma Combi Eco hot water and coach heat delivery system. You can set the temperature inside the van. You can adjust the temperature of the hot water, whether it be eco mode or hot water boost mode. The beauty of this is all of these can be done with time adjustable settings so you're not wasting LP, heating your van when you're away or heating your hot water when you're away. Winnebago gauges for the 12 volt on-demand water pump as well as your gray tank capacities and battery readouts. And then off to the left, an innovative, user-friendly EcoFlow battery management system. Upon waking the display, you can turn the system on or off. It will learn your habits to provide an estimated time remaining, but also a recharging time. It provides the inputs, whether that be off of shoreline power, which is what we're using now, or whether that be from solar or the alternator. Here you can see the amount of recharge time remaining each of the three battery locations. There is one battery standard and it is expandable up to 15,000 watt hours with additional batteries. Although keep in mind, those are fairly large and fairly heavy. So not otherwise having a different location, they'd have to go underneath the dinette area, which can then sacrifice some leg space or storage space underneath that dinette area. But it is expandable up to 15,000 watt hours. Most likely not needed for most of our van life guests, but it is possible. Here you can see the output being provided and also an estimated runtime. This is where you would also turn on the inverter to power household appliances off of the battery system. Otherwise the DC or 12 volt system is the default. Overhead Winnebago then installs this metal shelf along with blackout privacy to the front. You can see the privacy panels being stored up top. Inside the Ram Promaster cockpit, light duty automotive style features including cab seats that rotate to become integral lounge chairs. Each of the seats feature an adjustable headrest and a slide swivel and recline. Dual front airbags are included along with an adjustable armrest towards the inner portion, the left portion or the right portion depending upon if you're in the driver or the passenger seat then using the door. You can see push button start with a keyless entry fob using proximity then allows you to start the van. One of the beauties of this is the Uconnect system with a seven inch infotainment system featuring Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Controls off to the left of this steering column which does provide telescoping steering. Controls for the three and a half inch color digital information cluster. Controls on the left then for operating hands-free phone operation through either Bluetooth connectivity or Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Off to the left then you'll find cruise control as well as powered windows, powered door locks, powered mirrors with the frost, the sound system integrated inside the door, an array of cup holders including two here inside the driver's door. You can see the electronic park brake that's included, as well as controls for the integrated fog lamps. On the steering wheel, then you'll find the cruise controls. Off to the right, controls for the nine speed automatic torque flight transmission with grade braking capabilities to allow the power of that transmission to assist in your braking, keeping your brakes nice and cool and extending their life. Storage is included up top here between each of the dual front airbags. And then the seven inch Uconnect, which does include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. As well as Sirius XM satellite radio. Also inside the van you'll find Safety enhancements such as Forward Collision Warning Plus, Blind Spot Monitoring with Cross Path Detection, a Digital Rearview Mirror which we'll showcase here in a moment, 
multi-collision and post-collision braking, and all of that's configurable here with inside the Uconnect. Again, this is a seven inch capacitive touchscreen monitor. You can control each of the preferred driver settings inside the vehicle settings. Despite the fact that this does have a rear view camera monitoring system, in transit you can use the digital rear view mirror, which we'll showcase here in a moment. But very easy to use, very intuitive. You can download apps that are available through Uconnect. Going back to the home feature, you can use split screen capability for wireless Bluetooth connection or Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Here you'll find complete heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. Controls for the hazard lights as well as the power door locks, a 12 volt USB power point as well as USB-A and USB-C off to the right for charging your smartphones or tablets. And then also a smartphone holder. Just to top three different cup holders and then you also have cup holders inside the passenger door and driver door. Non-skid flooring up front. We can also install any type of WeatherTech laser cut vinyl flooring that you would actually like. We are an authorized WeatherTech dealer. And then also glove box storage down below. Privacy at night, even if the seats are rotated to become additional lounge chairs to the van, are included with privacy panels for the front windshield and the driver's and passenger door. So storage up top that passenger airbag as well as down below in the glove box. In the overhead display, you'll find the SOS button, which will alert 911 in the event of an emergency. Sun visors up top, and then again, adjustable headrests. Each of these seats slide, swivel, and recline. And the digital rear view mirror provides continuous video display even at higher forward speeds. Of course, the fire extinguisher is located right near the cargo door. Heaven forbid you would need that. And so as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I wanna take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the complete walkthrough video experience for the all new Winnebago Solus Pocket 36B available here at Litson RV. In addition, we can also provide any type of a live interactive presentation with you, our guest, in the comfort of your own home or office. A partner or spouse can be in a different location and our factory trained consultants can walk through this video live in the comfort of your own home or office in our all new showroom covering the 36B, which is available here at Let's in RV. We are America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries and located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory based right here in Forest City, Iowa and named by the manufacturer of Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume for a single point location across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries across all of North America each year consistently since 2015. Also last year we were named the number two camper van dealer across all of North America across all manufacturers so the entire RV industry while only offering Winnebago's camper van lineup. However most importantly be the first to break in and protect your new Ram Promaster investment in accordance with the way Ram Promaster outlines on page 72 of their owner's manuals, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing during the first 1,000 miles and driving moderately during the first 300 miles after the initial 60 miles, speeds up to 50 or 55 miles per hour being desirable, and while cruising during this time frame, brief full throttle acceleration within the limits of local traffic laws contributing to a good engine break-in procedure. As opposed to the way a delivery driver may and tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, 
Be the first to break in and protect that new Ram powertrain investment. Sleep that first night in your multi-use dinette and twin bed or full bed sleeping mode and eat that first meal in your factory fresh dinette available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson and I wanna thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as the points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation of, or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees when purchasing an RV in the state of Iowa. You will always pay the tax, title, and license in the state in which you register your RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. We help people day in and day out from all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. At Litson RV, we have cost savings compared to other RV dealers. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We provide a complimentary thorough walk around of your RV with any RV purchase at the time of delivery. This orientation may be done in person or virtually if you prefer. This orientation is dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with a Litson RV Winnebago product expert and will take as much time as needed so that you can understand every function, switch, maintenance, and warranty items of your RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we want to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible. With our newly expanded campground, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical hookups. This is available to guests taking delivery of their new RV or just passing through for a service appointment. We have two state-of-the-art guest lounge areas for your comfort where you can grab a cup of coffee and relax while enjoying your favorite show or use our laptop tables in our comfortable seating areas. And your pets are welcome to join you in the guest lounge and throughout the Litson RV dealership. We work with several different national lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rate and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa.